Raptor's engines are the sole reason for bringing a revolution in the space industry. With their great power and efficiency, these engines are way different than any other rocket engine in the market. So what exactly is that that makes Raptor engines so unique and special? Let's find out. SpaceX's CEO, Elon Musk, has always been on the run to surprise us every time with something new and exciting. This time, it is something even more exhilarating that has never been done before. We all are familiar with the SpaceX's Raptor engines, but this Musk has decided to come up with a plan that is even greater and bigger in terms of power and efficiency. This revolutionary effort will be something splendid in the space industry. So what's so great about these new Raptor engines? How do they work? And what role are they expected to play for the space industry in future? If you're also thinking about all of that, then stay right with us, as we're about to dive into all of those details here on TechWizard. But before we get started with video, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell icon so that our good space content never passes you by. Raptor engines, with their exceptional power and effectiveness, have transformed the space industry. These engines, created by SpaceX, are unmatched by any other rocket engine on the market and constitute a substantial advancement in combustion technology. For instance, it is the first spaceship to employ a full-flow staged combustion engine. This implies that the engine makes full use of all of the fuel and oxidizer in the combustion process, leading to a more efficient and strong thrust. Furthermore, the Raptor engine is powered by liquid methane and liquid oxygen, making it a more ecologically benign choice than traditional rocket fuels. The Raptor engine is also rare in its design. It is constructed of 3D printed pieces, allowing for greater accuracy and personalization during the production process. This not only saves money, but it also results in a more lasting and reliable engine. But first, let's have a look on how exactly these engines work. The Raptor engine works by delivering liquid methane and liquid oxygen into the engine's combustion chamber through a system of pumps. When the fuel and oxidizer are united, they go through a process known as full-flow staged combustion, in which each component of fuel and oxidizer is used in the combustion process. When the fuel and oxidizer combine and fire up, a very hot gas is produced that swells and gets out via the engine's nozzle. This reaction generates a strong push, propelling the spaceship forward. The Raptor engine is built to be very efficient, which means it can create more thrust while using less fuel than conventional rocket engines. And not only this, but these engines are quite beneficial too. One of the main advantages of the Raptor engine is that it's able to be reused. In contrast to conventional rocket engines, which are normally used once and then thrown away, the Raptor engine may be reused several times. This not only lowers expenses, but also makes space travel safer and more environmentally beneficial. Another advantage of the Raptor engine is its capacity to produce a lot of power. The Raptor engine is presently the most potent rocket engine on the market. With a thrust of over 200 tons, spacecraft may now go farther and faster than ever before. And how are these engines different from the previous ones? Well, the SpaceX Raptor 3 is a stronger and updated rocket engine. It has a pressure of 350 bars and a thrust of 269 tons. By February 2022, Raptor 2 engines were routinely delivering 230 TF, 510,000 lbf of thrust, while SpaceX intends to be able to modify engine specifications and design over time to attain at least 250 TF, 550,000 lbf. Furthermore, Musk stated that the engine manufacturing expense was around half that of the Raptor 1 variant SpaceX used from 2018 to 2021. Musk tweeted in June 2022 that 250 tons were feasible. And since SpaceX has been actively working on the Starship vehicle since 2019, the spacecraft and rocket components have been tested and improved over the years to create a dependable vehicle capable of reaching orbit and beyond. But wait, this doesn't stop here. SpaceX engineers had a chance to collect significant information on the Raptor engine and the stainless steel rocket ship on April 20th, when it executed its initial fully integrated test flight at its Starbase facility at Boca Chica Beach, Texas. Even though the rocket did not reach orbit, the four-minute flight roughly 40 kilometers above the ground 
taught engineers what they needed to modify in order to enter orbit. During the initial orbital attempt, the Super Heavy rocket was powered by at least 30 of the 33 Raptor V2 engines. The Raptor V2 has less apparent piping and wiring, yet both sea level variants have the same nozzle exit diameter and proportions. However, V1 weighs 2,000 kilograms and V2 weighs 1,600 kilograms. Raptor Vive 1 produced around 185 tons of thrust, whereas the current V2 produces approximately 230 tons of thrust. By adding fewer components, the business increased performance thrust while decreasing manufacturing time, which is critical for someday being able to create an inventory of hundreds of starships to build bases on the Moon and Mars. But the Raptor 3 has broken all of the previous records, reaching for about 350 bars chamber pressure, which is 269 tons of thrust. Incredible, isn't it? While replying to a Tasmanian journalist's tweet, who was wondering about the size and whether Raptor 3 looks different or similar to Raptor 2, Musk said that if we can remove and incorporate enough additional structures, then we can protect the rest locally and eliminate engine heat shields. By removing some components, the engine's bulk is reduced, making it more compact as well as quicker to construct at scale than prior models. Talking about the recent Raptor 3 activity, the SpaceX Raptor 3 was just tested, and it produced 18% more thrust than the Raptor 2. The Raptor 2 had 25% greater thrust and was 20% lighter than the Raptor 1. Everyday astronaut analyzed SpaceX's efforts to eliminate unnecessary parts and lower the overall size of the Raptor engines. SpaceX is going to eliminate the gimbals on the outermost engines and the rocket shroud when possible. It is possible that, in addition to boosting thrust, SpaceX proceeded to cut weight by another 200 kilograms. This would imply decreasing the weight of the rocket by 8 tons for the 40 engines in the Super Heavy Starship's first and second stages. Weight reductions across the rocket, as well as better circuitry and other components, will lower the cost and increase the general effectiveness of future SpaceX Starship rockets. So, what can we look at in terms of efficiency and effectiveness if we make a comparison of Raptor engines with other space agencies like NASA? In terms of enhanced power, consider the Saturn V, the rocket that delivered NASA Apollo astronauts to the lunar surface, which produced 7.6 million pounds of force. However, Saturn V is no longer in service. Instead, NASA created a new rocket known as the Space Launch System, or CELS, which has a maximum thrust of 8.8 .8 million pounds. NASA claims that the functioning rocket exerted greater thrust than any rocket ever when it launched in November 2022. But the story doesn't end here. With the potential to create 19.5 million pounds during liftoff, SpaceX's Starship Super Heavy is predicted to replace the SLS as soon as it reaches orbit. Engineers at SpaceX are hard at work preparing updated spaceships for the next interplanetary flight test try later this year. And the cost? Well, as of November 2022, SpaceX has finished the production of nearly 200 Raptor engines and counting, at a rate of one engine per day. The engines are built and tested at the McGregor facility. Officials at SpaceX have said that they have more engines than they can fly at the present. SpaceX hopes for each Raptor's cost per ton of thrust to be less than $1,000 USD, or little more than $250,000 at the 260 tons of thrust that each Raptor V3 is capable of producing. Musk previously stated that he intends to spend around $2 billion on Starship production this year. Therefore, we can say that SpaceX's Raptor engines, which ultimately makes the Starship, will have a huge impact on the space industry, as per Elon's words. Mankind will be creating bases on the Moon and colonizing Mars. However, as there are no landing column on Moon or Mars, the company will still need to create them. So what are your views related to SpaceX's new launch of Raptor 3 engines? Share with us as we always love hearing from you. And if you enjoyed this video, show us some love by hitting the like button and leaving a comment down below. Also, if you're a fan of space and want to stay updated with more of the latest space news, check out our other videos here that we have lined up for you. You'll enjoy watching them too. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.